want to go back to the phone lines, Dr. Wayne Franklin, Kentucky, listening on Bot Radio. Hi, Wayne. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, fine. I just had a quick question. What I've always considered, it's always been called the six-pointed star of David. I've heard that it's not really the star of David, but it's an occult symbol, kind of like the pentagram. Uh, If you have anything on that, I'll go ahead and hang up and just listen to you on the radio. Yeah, well, look, I've said this many times in the Bible Answer Man broadcast, words and phrases are not univocal, they're equivocal, they take on the meaning that the context allows them to have, and I think that same principle holds true with the Star of David. The Star of David is not something that you find in the Bible as an illustration you find in one of the margins. It's something that arose in the Middle Ages, and it was a symbol that is adopted by Judaism, And that symbol has the meaning that Judaism attaches to it. That meaning is hardly a cult in terms of its symbolism. Uh, Now, if, if a Mormon uses it, and Mormonism has used it, Mormonism uses it in a different way. If Islam uses it, and Islam has used it, Islam uses it in a different way. The same thing with Eastern religions, the same thing with Hindu, Hinduism. Uh, so the symbol takes on the meaning that the culture allows the symbol to have. Uh, so I wouldn't uh, worry in any sense that this has a cult underpinnings. No, they are using this to highlight Uh, David is Israel's quintessential king. Of course, we would take this to a whole different level as Christians and say not only was David uh, Israel's quintessential king, but David was a type pointing forward to the one who forever sits upon the throne of David, and that one is Jesus Christ, the creator of the universe himself.